Hi everyone! In this video we're going to talk about creating your own stone. Um, I'm really excited about this because it's really fun to do and they're amazing to paint. Um, I have a few molds now. I have my favorite one which is from um, Happy Dotting Company and I will send a link at the below because they um, sell them on Etsy and this is one of my favorite ones. Um, it creates this beautiful perfect circle stone and um, we can't always find beautiful perfect round stones um, they're they're just very rare to find to find that ideal one and they're so fun to paint when they're exactly symmetrical and circle and sometimes we don't have um, depending on where you live you might not have uh, stones accessible to you uh, you may not be able to leave your house because of weather or other other situations so um, this is really a great way to be able to create your own stones um, and and have control over the shape and and size and uh, so we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you how to do this today um, I picked up some uh, new silicone molds that just came this week from Amazon which I'm super excited to try so they're brand new to me and um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how all of these turn out um, this is a package that comes with, there's a, a sphere, which was what caught my eye ideally because I love painting on um, the spheres and we're going to do a video about this um, really soon because it's one of my absolute favorite shapes to paint on. So it came with that, it came with a cube, which I'm really excited about because I have some really um, fun ideas um, about painting the cubes. Again, it will be another video in the future. Uh, it also comes with a diamond shape, which uh, again is going to be another video because I'm really excited about this. I haven't painted on um, some of these shapes before, so it's going to be an experiment for me and for you. There's a cone shape and um, a pyramid shape in, in the package as well. So I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm always trying to challenge myself to paint on new new things new shapes it just keeps it fun and exciting when you're when you're painting so um typically i've used the plaster of paris um for my molds for for my stones and it's done really well they they create a beautiful shape um it, it hardens quite quickly um it creates a nice beautiful shape um but i thought i would try because i've seen a couple people using um, the plaster cast stuff. So I thought I would try this. I also got this from Amazon when I got my molds And so this is what I'm going to try um, The plaster of Paris there's a certain you know, you're doing weighing and stuff or mixing which is which is fine um, But this one seems to be kind of a three-in-one. So it's two part or three parts um, Of the casting mix and then one part of the water. So kind of a much easier way to um, get your get your mixture because if if you don't have the plaster Paris just right um, I found that some of them kind of crumble a bit or or chip so you really got to get the measurements right accurate so I thought this one might be a little bit easier it's a bit more expensive but um, I thought I would give it a go so I'm gonna mix that up and then I'll come back and um, let's see what happens and we're gonna I'm gonna pour them and then I'm going to let them harden I have this one actually as well it only takes I think it says it only takes a, like half an hour or 45 minutes to um, to set and then you leave it for 24 hours to dry. So that's a really quick um, amount of time. So let's see what happens. So what I'm going to do to use for um, the mixing, because I don't want this to go down my sink, um, that would be a bit of a disaster for my pipes. So I use the plastic caps. I just have a line measured. I don't know if you can see that, but um, I just use a Sharpie and measure it so that it's really easy measurements. You're doing three parts of this and one part water um, and mixing it into my cap. And then I can let it harden and, and crumble out and, and toss it in the garbage and then uh, recycle my caps. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mix it up. It says you mix for two minutes. So I will be back and we're gonna pour. Okay, so I'm back and I've mixed up my um, concoction here on, as per the directions. So it's just saying to tap, tap the cup a little bit, get the bubbles out, and then when I'm pouring it into the mold, um, we're gonna do the same thing. So I've just mixed the two parts, or the three parts um, powder and one part water, and mixed it for two minutes. Um, the amount that you 
make it will depend on how many molds that you're creating you can always um make more right so uh, i am hoping to be able to fill a couple molds here so if i need more solution then i will make that as well but let's pour this into um, the stone mold here so really easy to do just pouring slowly make sure i get as little air bubbles as i can it says do not overfill the mold so i'm going to make sure that i go near the top here but I'm not going to overfill so there we have it so these are amazing silicone molds um, they pop the stones out really easily so i'm going to let these dry Okay, so our timer is up and we are ready to unmold. So let's unmold this one first. This is the Happy Dotting Company's mold that creates a stone. There we have that. And the sphere. So we can be able to sand this down a little bit or it's probably all just pops right off like this and then we can just give it a light sanding and that is going to be a perfect perfect little sphere to paint on okay here we go oh look at that that is magical. Can you see that glisten on there? Let's see down there. That is going to be fun to paint. And the last one here is the diamond. Well, that one came out really easy, easier than I thought it would. There you have it. There's the diamond. So I'm going to post videos about painting on all of these items. Uh, so make sure that you subscribe and uh, stay tuned because these are going to be um, really, really fun to paint on. Hey, so these are our really awesome molds that came out of the um, using the perfect cast. That's the material I use. It says it's four times stronger than um, other molds. So we'll see how, how that is and how they hold up. So I'm gonna let them um, dry for 24 hours and then it's going to be time to paint these super fun items. I'm really excited about um, the sphere uh, video that we're gonna do. And then this is, the, this is the stone. So as you can see, so I've had it this one Normally I leave it just sitting on the table and it creates this perfect little round stone. This time I thought I would try and stick it in a cup while it was molding. And as you can see, it's kind of got these little divots in it. I don't know if you can see them, which is going to actually give us a really cool, I've got a really awesome idea for this one. So. That gives us a, a little bit of a different shape, but I'm really excited about this. So make sure that you stay tuned for this video because we're going to have a lot of fun with this one. And we'll see you next time.